Hello and welcome to another. In today's class, we will move on to the important five mark question from the next unit, the production analysis. Okay, so under that, the first one is the determinants of supply. Actually, there are other questions also, like the concept of returns to scale. scale explain the concept of returns to scale, the internal economies. So they are also the one of the important some of the important five marks questions but since i have already explained all those things under the 10 mark sections in the laqs i am proceeding with the other answers okay so saq 18 what is supply explain the determinants of supply just like we had the demand the meaning of demand the law of demand and what are all the factors that determine demand the same thing is there for supply also and a brief introduction about supply supply is just the opposite to the demand so if you remember the meaning of demand so the demand is the amount the quantity demanded by a consumer at a particular point of time at a particular price okay so if this is the price this is what i am going to demand remember the demand schedule so and so price so and so quantity demanded the price is increasing the quantity demanded decreasing so if you are arranging it in order that is the uh, demand schedule in the same way supply is from the point of view of the seller supply is the quantity how much the seller is willing to sell at a given price at this particular point of time just like the consumer is having the definite quantities of commodities he is going to uh, demand at a particular price at a given point of time the seller also has a definite preference offer offers to sell certain quantities of commodities and at a given price okay so the consumer buys more when the price decreases but whereas the seller sells more when the price increases because the main aim of the seller is to get more profit isn't it so the seller will get more profit only when the price of the commodity increases so when the price of the commodity increases the quantity offered for sale that is the supply will also increase so there will be a direct relationship between the price of the commodity and the quantity offered for sale that is the supply indirect relationship between price and demand but direct relationship between price and supply okay so this is supply and the supply curve will be upward sloping it will have a positive uh, slope okay now we'll move on to the determinants of supply because apart from price there are other factors also determining the uh, quantity offered for sale determining the supply of a particular commodity so they are all called as the determinants of supply so first start with the answer the meaning of supply supply is the quantity of a good offered for sale okay by the producer at different prices during a certain period of time now why it is specifically mentioned offered for sale because if the price is not uh, favorable to the seller the producer will not be willing to sell the commodity so what he will do he will keep a certain quantities of commodity in the form of a stock he will keep it in the form of a stock and when the price is favorable when the prices start increasing he will release from the stock and he keeps on offering it for sale so there is a difference between stock and supply whatever the commodities that are produced in the factory whatever the quantities of commodities that are got from the agriculture sector the entire quantity is not offered for sale by the seller certain quantities he will keep it in the form of a stock when the prices are favorable he will release from the stock and keeps on offering it for sale so that is why whatever the quantities offered for sale by the producer only that part of the total output constitute the supply okay now coming to the determinants of supply of course the first and foremost thing the factor that determine the supply of a commodity is the price of a good so there is a direct relationship between price and supply if the price of the good increases supply also increases of course other factors remaining constant and vice versa that means what if the price of the commodity increases the supply of the commodity will also increase if the price of the commodity decreases supply of the commodity will also decrease why this is happening because one day when the price increases the seller will get more and more amount of profit so he wants to take advantage of it so he will keep on releasing from the stock and keep he will keep on 
offering more and more amount of commodities for sale only when the price increases okay then the second one is prices of its related goods related goods if you remember related goods substitutes and complementary goods so there are suppose let us assume that there are two commodities which is which can be offered for sale by the seller commodity x and commodity y so for the, the time being let us assume commodity uh, x is the original commodity the seller is willing to offer for sale and commodity y happens to be its substitute okay now suppose if the price of commodity y increases instead of commodity x what the seller will do the seller will offer for sale commodity y because commodity y's price is increasing by selling more of commodity y the seller will get more amount of profit so the uh, seller will shift the uh, sales from commodity x to commodity y okay or if the demand for commodity y is more than commodity x if the demand increases again the price will increase so if the demand for commodity y is more than commodity x then also the seller will will be willing to sell commodity y than commodity x on the other hand if the price of commodity x is more than commodity y the seller will will be willing to offer for sale commodity x if the demand for commodity x is more than commodity y the seller will supply commodity x similar is the case for complementary goods according to the demand and price of complementary goods the seller will supply the commodity x or commodity y okay that's for the prices of related goods it's a simple logic whichever commodity the price is more that particular commodity the seller will keep on supplying related goods comprise substitutes and complementary goods for instance if the price of substitute good increases that is commodity y the producer might increase the supply of substitute good on the other hand if the demand for substitute good increases the producer may increase the supply of the sorry on the other hand if the demand for substitute good decreases that is if the demand for commodity y decreases the producer may increase the supply of the original good that is commodity x instead of the substitute good okay likewise the supply of a good also depends upon the price and demand of its complementary product okay next the third one prices of factors of production so there were you know what are all the factors of production isn't it the labor the raw materials land everything they are all the factors of production the capital required the loan he is taking everything they all comprise the factors of production so if the prices of factors of production increases what will happen say for example if the wages are increasing if the rent he has to pay on land is increasing if the interest he has to pay on loans are in capital or increasing then what will, that is the price price of land is rent price of labor is wages price of capital is uh, interest so if all these things are increasing ultimately it will lead to rise in the cost of production for the producer so it is not favorable for the producer so if the price of factors of production increase then the cost of production will also increase in that case the supply will reduce on the other hand if the prices of factors of produ production are decreasing then the cost of production will also decrease and that will give an inducement for the producer to sell or supply more okay so that's why prices of factors of production if the prices of factors of production increases the cost of production will increase and hence there will be a decrease in supply the reverse will happen if there is a fall in the prices of factors of production okay then fourth one state of technology so the state of technology as long as the state of technology keeps on improving if the seller is able to make new and uh, different varieties of products if he keeps on making new innovations so all these innovations finally result in reducing the cost of production that's why we should always have the advanced technology but if the seller is using the outmoded technology the cost will increase the wastages will increase so the new and improved technology is as long as it is used by the seller the cost of production will reduce and the supply will increase on the other hand if the state of technology is outmoded or outdated cost of production will increase wastages will increase and the supply will decrease okay that is the fourth determinant new and improved technology results in lowering the cost of production which lead to a rise in supply okay 
Then the fifth one, goals of producer and other determinants. Goals of the producer such as profit or sales motive. It is not always only the profit. I already mentioned to you there are two ways of earning more revenue. Either the seller can increase the price and reduce the sales or the seller can increase the volume of supply and reduce the price. Okay, so two ways the seller can uh, get more and more amount of revenue. So if the price, suppose if a seller wants to increase the sales volume automatically, that is the goal of a particular seller, then he will definitely offer more and more quantity for sales. Okay, so it depends upon the goal of, of the producer. Maybe sometimes some producer instead of profit motive, he might be having the aim of even the welfare motive. It is not necessary that that they don't have any welfare motive in that case instead of price quantity offered for sale will be more so supply will also depends upon according to the goals of the producer so goals of the producer such as profit or sales motive if it is sales motive supply will be more okay availability of proper means of transport and communications so you can understand that if there is a proper infrastructure facilities definitely the supply will also be more and vice versa and natural factors especially in the time agricultural se sector the products related to agricultural sector which depend mostly on the natural factors so if the climatic factors are favorable the supply of primary products will be more if the climatic factors are unfavorable the supply of primary products that is agricultural products will be lesser so all these will also affect the supply of a commodity okay finally government policy see there are government policies sometimes the government might encourage the supply of certain commodities by giving certain kind of concessions in the form of tax concessions tax holidays or the government might give subsidies so if that those if that is the kind of policy the government is having towards certain uh, supply of certain commodities or services definitely those kind of commodities and services supply will increase on the other hand if the government is imposing taxes excise duties so if then all those things will need to increase in the cost of production that will discourage the seller to supply more okay so that is the government policy government policies regarding taxes and subsidies will also influence the supply imposition of taxes discourages supply while providing subsidies and tax concessions would encourage the supply of goods so in that case the supply of the commodity will increase otherwise the supply will decrease okay i think now you can understand that it is not only the price of a commodity apart from price there are other factors also which determine the supply of a particular commodity okay so this is a another five marks question this is from unit 4 production analysis okay hope all of you have understood if you have any doubts please mention them in the comment box otherwise if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my youtube channel okay until my next class take care bye bye